Welcome back. Are you ready for another Thrift With Me video? I hope so because I picked up some pretty awesome finds this time. So stay tuned to the end to see my haul and find out what I ended up getting. Hi and welcome. I am at the local Deseret Industries here in Utah and I can't wait to get in. It's been a while since I videotaped, so I hope that everything is good <laughs> so that you can see, you know, some good footage. So let's get in there and see what they have. So I went down towards the clear glass and plates and bowls aisle, and I couldn't believe how bare their plates and bowl aisle was. <laughs> Usually they're just jam packed and I think they're changing over managers. Every time they do that, they clear out all the old and and try to organize and make sure that their their uh cus or not customers, their workers are making sure that they're all nice and pretty. Well, I like it messy and I like a lot of stuff to go through. So this was kind of um, boring, but I did find a lot of really high quality things. Now I collect these etched glass type glasses but that one had a, a little chip on it sadly I didn't have another one that I could pick up this time which was odd so I'm just going through the clear glass which they do have some colored glass in here because it's bases as well and that one there is uh, flash colored and newer they also had a bunch of these tiny vases that look like maybe for a wedding that they painted the inside of them. So they're not worth anything. So going back over onto the plates and bowls section, I found this little snack plate. It's supposed to have a cup that goes with it. And I tried to find it and there was no cup. It would have been a, a super neat one because it's uh, Norquest, which is highly priced if you have the cup with it. So I ended up putting it back. So going back and forth, <laughs> I'm back over to the glass area and I saw this, it's roses and it's 1970s with that orange lid. And I looked it up, it's only worth about, I guess about $10. And so I ended up putting that back. Now these green glasses are older and I thought about getting them, but they're really pretty, but they had a lot of scratches on them, and I don't think that they would sell with the scratches very well. So I put them back, and the gentleman behind me that was a reseller, he picked them up. <laughs> and this is so beautiful. It, I think it's pewter on the, on the top there, and it's a stein, it's German, and it's frosted um, etching. It's so pretty. And of course I got that one. So then we're over into the metal department and they had some cute little signs. Um, they're all just either metal or wire. And that was kind of cool. Not my style. And they really didn't have much, like I said. It was like everything was spread out like that. You could at least see what, you, what they had, but it was really hardly anything really good. So I'm just kind of checking things out. If you have wolves around, that would be perfect. Put in your yard. <laughs> if you have wolves, I'd be moving. But anyway, <laughs> a lot of Christmas stocking holders. I kind of checked a few of them and they're just made in China and not very old. So I thought it would be a good idea to bring to you an example of my Etsy shop and show you some items that I already have online. If you ever see anything on my videos that you would like to purchase and you don't see it on my Etsy shop, please email me and we can work something out as I probably haven't put it up yet. I get so busy that I have so many items I haven't listed quite yet. So I hope you enjoy and please let me know if there is anything you'd like and um, please make sure to check out my Etsy shop. Thank you. So down that same aisle, there's the tins there that there was nothing worth getting and then the baskets. 
I always try to look for a longer burger basket because they are highly collectible and worth a lot. But I did find this. It's a Boydston Bear basket. Has the tag on it still. And had a few little um, like chain things on it. Like it's never been used. And see it has the little Boydston Bear paw. Which is super cute. And I paid 75 cents or a dollar I think. And it's worth about 15 to 20. So I picked that one up. And I should have looked at the one with the apple handles. But it's, I don't know, I kind of thought it was ugly. <laughs> um, that one was interesting but cheaply made. And you know that's what I mostly see at this thrift store is a lot of cheaply made ones. So now we're on the other side of that same aisle in the wood section. And again the wood section has been hit and miss. and. Usually you can find some kind of a vintage box or something that was really cute. That one I looked at it closer after I picked it up and I think it's Walmart. <laughs> so continuing down here there's a lot of blocks you can do a lot of crafts with all of this stuff and I just have so much at home that I just don't want to pick up anymore and I thought that was kind of cute. And again, just kind of skimming through to see what they had and really couldn't find much. But I did find a wood shelf and I'll have to show you later. So I'm just kind of going through the textile area with the placemats and different towels and um, napkins, all of the fabric type stuff. That was kind of cute. <laughs> But there wasn't really anything worth reselling or even to buy for myself. If you were a Tarez, that might be cute. I guess I could have resold that. I didn't even look it up. But yeah, there, there was really nothing in all of these. Just looking through them, the colors and everything were not even worth grabbing to even look at it. So then we moved on over here to the plastics and sometimes I can find some vintage plastic items that are pretty cool and then today no. <laughs> there really wasn't much. And again in the kitchen aisle on the other side of the plastic where I'm just kind of skimming a lot of times I'll find some kind of hidden treasure here but today I didn't. And it looks like I went back and forth through the aisles um, because people were in the way. And so I was going from one side of the aisle to the other. <laughs> so I'm back over looking at the pla plastic stuff, trying to find a cool cup, see if I can get something that's worth some money. But on this aisle, there was really nothing. They were all just either cheapy or very worn out. And now we're over in the little knickknack area. Now I thought about picking this up, but I thought it would probably be hard to ship and it would probably crack. My husband has one similar that I believe his dad gave him, but I ended up putting it back. This one, uh, it was new in the box. I double checked to make sure it was there, but it only sold for like nine to $10. And to me, that's not worth my time, even at $1.50. So I ended up putting that one back too. And I usually will find some pretty awesome little knickknack things in here that I can resell. But again, today it was like hit and miss with all this little stuff. That little bank right there was cute, but it was chipping. Uh, the little football. And then, you know, they kind of been mixing the wood stuff over here too. And it's been kind of different. It's like you're looking at wood instead of little knickknack stuff. Now this I wasn't sure what those were. So honestly I, I just put it down. <laughs> I wasn't sure what the heck they were. If you know what those were, comment below and let me know. Now we're over here closer to the candle aisle 
This was really pretty, but it, it seemed cheap um, and not well made. And, you know, I'm looking at everything. And I normally will look at every single Christmas thing because I love Christmas and I love vintage Christmas, but there wasn't really anything. Now I thought about getting this and I probably should have. It's a little creamer, but it did seem kind of cheaply made too. <laughs> everything just seemed not so great this time around. And she was all chipped up too. So then still looking over in the same little knickknack area and again just really nothing to that's jumping out at me to pick up. I always check boxes but that one I had already looked at before and just you know made in China cheaply made stuff. This I thought oh my gosh it's so cool a lady put it back and I was looking it up and I thought, oh my gosh, it's probably like a $200 item. Well, it was broken. It was cracked and I didn't see it right there. See how it's cracked? And then in the candle section, it's very small. I have been so disappointed lately. Like the last six months has been very disappointing. So I gave up on all those aisles and I'm over here at the, the uh, lamps area. And they had some pretty cool lamps if you were redoing something the perfect places to get them at the the thrift stores they're also pretty and a lot of times there are pairs so you could redo them and make them look better than they are or just leave them the way they are sometimes you can get some good deals so i'm in the back area where they have the large picture frames and and pictures and i was kind of pressured for time in this section um, people keep getting in my private space, <laughs> in my personal space, and it really drives me crazy. And if you were Amanda, that would be perfect for you. <laughs> so it was a little difficult. I get really frustrated when people are just right up on me and I can't really look and, and it makes it difficult. That one is a, a puzzle put together and they glued it and framed it. So I couldn't really show you much. So here are some more baskets in the back area. They just kind of throw a bunch of like flower arrangement type things and wood and stuff back here that are bigger and too big to put in the aisles. So I just kind of looked at those and there wasn't really much. I thought that was pretty interesting. In the same space as furniture, and this old vintage table reminds me of the table we had as a child back in the day, and same color, everything. So it's nice to see things that bring you memories. I thought I never really show you any of the furniture that they have in the store, so I thought I would kind of skim through some and show you a few things. Last weekend I did find a pretty awesome piece that I'm going to redo for my kitchen as a coffee bar. So going through all of the electronic area, um, I found this vintage hot plate and I thought that was pretty awesome. And it only goes for about, I think 15 bucks. So I left that one. So I went back through just to skim the place to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I did not see, and I know I didn't because I just looked at the footage, this was not there before. This is such a cool piece. It's seashell shaped and you can use it for chips and dip and it's a Lennox and this goes anywhere from around $50 to $100. So I grabbed that and there's nothing wrong with it. So then you go in the back area um, by the books and it's all the collectibles. This one was $25. I'm not sure what character that was, but he's expensive. <laughs> They have like antique things and things that they feel are worth more, so they put them back here. And they want quite a bit for this stuff, and I just couldn't pay what they want and still resell it. If it was something I really wanted for myself, like that, for my hubby, then yes, but that was sold. So next up is the haul. Okay, I'm home now, and I wanna show you my haul. And I didn't get a ton of things this time, but
but there were a lot of quality items, which I was really surprised. And by the video, you could tell they had a lot of things that were taken out. I think they were changing over some things, so the shelves were really bare. But I did get some high quality items, so that was like a big plus. So let's check them out. Okay, so I thought I would start out with the three uh, clothing items that I picked up that are really super cute. And the, this one looks like it's hardly even been used. It's a really nice brand. And it feels just like, I don't even think anyone's even worn it. Um, and I'm not sure the Dean. <laughs> Never heard of them. Made in India. I paid $5 for it. But it fits so nice and comfy and you could wear it even around the house if you wanted to, but it's super cute. Then I have this really cute flannel shirt. I couldn't believe how pretty that color is. I really love turquoise anyway, and it has that, that turquoise hue to it. And now I can wear all my turquoise with it. And that brown, I can wear my cute new brown shoes that I bought from the thrift store. I just thought that was really pretty. And look, it's brand new, never worn as well. And hot, uh, I'm not gonna say that because I'm gonna butcher it. I've never heard of the brand, <laughs> let's just say that. Paid $5 and it's brand new, never worn. Isn't that awesome? Then I have this awesome jacket. Now, it may be a little small for me and I could sell it easily for around 40 to $50. Uh, I might give it away if it doesn't look right on me. So I normally wear a large because of my arms are really long and this is a medium. But look, it's brand new. Obviously, tag's still on it. Celebrity pink. And it's a medium. Again, paid $5. Brand new, white, white. There's no stains anywhere on it. And I love it. So, I don't know. I can always sell it, and I think it could go for anywhere from $40 to $50. But again, I'm going to list all of the uh, comps on each listing, I mean each part of the video, so you'll see as I go. Okay, for the rest of the items, this was super cute. Strawberries, you know how I love strawberries, and it says Shady. I don't know why, but Shady Japan, it's old. And I'll show the comp on the screen, but you know, when you pay a dollar for something, everything else is, is income. And I've seen a few sold already on Etsy and eBay. So keep that in mind. Then we have this cute little basket. If you look close, it's hearts and, oh sorry, stars and moons. And this is Boydston Bear collection. And it has the tag on it and this bell, as well as this little chain emblem. And the cute little Boydston Bear mark on it. So I could probably get about 15 to 20 off of that and I paid 75 cents for it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Then this one, I am not sure about it. It has hearts and everything like, kind of quilted looking. And there's some seams on it, so I don't know if it's a reproduction or not. I'm not a professional, so I'm not sure. 
but there is a big huge range of pricing on it and I don't want to even start <laughs> to show you um, but I'll show you the, the differences but I'm gonna probably list it for 15 to 20 just because I'm not sure then we have this like I don't know if anyone has ever seen one of these where it's like bowed out like that like a I don't know I've never seen a ball big mouth jar that is like this shape and it's got a, a bit of a green tint to it it doesn't glow but it did have the top on it to um, suction and clamp it looks like but it didn't have it with it and I, I think I only paid 75 cents for it because it or no a dollar there we go a dollar for it but I thought I would give it a whirl and see if it's worth anything so I'm not sure then this is super cute I might keep this one for Valentine's Day it has cute little hearts with the little flowers and it has hearts going down the handle and it says I love you and it is a Starbucks brand. So at the very worst, I could probably sell it for $20. So, I don't know, we'll see. Check the comps on the video. <laughs> they might be different. So this, when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness. It looks old, it has this silver, I'm sure it's silver plated because it doesn't have any markings. But then it has etching and kind of raised, or no, it's raised on the inside, but it's etched. I'm sure you can kind of see. It looks like a pig. <laughs> but I don't know. I think it's German. And you can kind of make out some of the words there. I think it's a German Stein, but all etched. And then the sides are so pretty. Look at all the flowers. So, so pretty. And then how this is, like it's raised glass. And it was $5 in their antique uh, little glass case, but I paid $3 for it. And I'm not sure how much I'm gonna list that for yet. I haven't really looked into it more. I did find some for like $70, but not exact, so I'm not sure. Then, we come to this. Oh, knocking stuff over. So, these purses are high quality. I mean, there's a little wear on this black one, but look at how cute everything is on it. This is woven. And then this is the sack brand. And you can see inside, and I didn't video this because there was a lady behind me that kept like pushing and pushing and I couldn't get my video in so I apologize for that. But it's the Sack brand. Inside is very clean and nice. The only thing is I might have to clean up like a few spots is all. But I'll have the comps on the screen for that as well. And Again, I might keep this one because it I love it and the weather is so soft and nice and it has a little pocket here for your phone. It's really deep, it goes clear down to there. <laughs> so that might be a good thrifting bag. <laughs> Never know. So I'm, I might keep that one. Then this really pretty one. This one is called 
sack roots. And it's practically new. I mean, sorry if I'm making you dizzy. These straps are not worn at all. Has a little pocket in the back. And the lining is super clean. So I'll also have the comps for that. And there's the little label. But it's super cute. And it's a blue, navy blue print. And just really cute. Again, if you see anything that you like, email me and we can arrange a pickup. We're going to save that for later. So then we have this super cute, beautiful vase. Has these feathers, different color feathers, all around it. And I'm always looking because you never know if you're going to get a Blanco or, you know, some kind of fancy named vase, but I came pretty close. It's super thick. You can see how thick that is. There's no uh, cuts or, or chips or anything on it. And I paid two dollars and get to the sticker here. And it is a Danks or Dansk International Designs, Romania. And I could probably get around $50 for that one. So I thought that was pretty cool. I love it. It's just really simple and pretty at the same time. So we're gonna list that one soon. <laughs> and I got this cute little cover. Of course it's vintage. Little tabletop cover. I wanna put it on my coffee table not coffee table, oh my goodness. Coffee nook that I'm making. It's going on my coffee nook that I purchased an antique wardrobe that I'm going to turn into a, a coffee bar. And this is gonna go on top. It has a cute little drawer. I might put all my tea and extra stuff in there and then maybe put some cups on it and transform it with some cute little, uh, I don't know, some kind of design there. And it's gonna go on top of that. So I paid $3 for that. I thought that was cute. So my find for the day, you saw it. This beautiful shell tray. I think it's a, either a garnish tray or uh, relish tray, a dip and some chips on it, anything that you want. It's dirty. This will all come out. I rubbed it. It's going to come out. And then the back shows Butler's Pantry made by Lennox. And I paid $2 and originally it's $58. I'm not sure when it was made, but I've seen a few on eBay and Etsy go for anywhere from $70 to $100. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I checked. There's no chips or anything. It's so pretty. So that'll be listed really quick too. <laughs> so that's my haul. And I hope that you enjoyed my video and that you will come back and see more and then maybe even check out if I do that as a thrift flip. So come back and see more. I hope you had fun with me and watching the video footage that I gave you and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you.